Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. For those of you who don't know, I am Emerald, and my sister and I operate the sawmill at our family business. Finding the right blade to fit your sawing needs can be tricky because there are so many different options. But no worries, that's what I'm here for. Let's get into this video. We have a wood miser sawmill, so today I'm going to just be specifically talking about the blades that wood miser has available. There's a lot of fancy options with a lot of different price ranges, so I'm really just going to be trying to simplify all this information as much as possible so you can find the blade for you. So I wanted to go over what the different blade names were because Woodmiser gives their own names so that they're different blades and I do have a cheat sheet because there's no way I'm remembering all of these. All right, the most popular one is the Turbo 747. Next one would be Silver Tip, Double Hard, which I think is the one that we've been running, Razor Tip, Bimetal, Turbo 7, and Vortex. I don't know if those are all of the blades that they offer, but those were the ones I could find. Now the Turbo 747 is the most popular blade and the description that Woodmiser gives it is it just has a deeper gullet which helps uh, clean out the sawdust more. I, it doesn't necessarily make less sawdust but a deeper gullet helps clean out the sawdust so it says it makes it be that there's less sawdust on the board coming off which honestly I don't really know why that would matter too much but there are some situations where that might be important. And the price is uh, kind of just in between. It's $14 a blade, so it's not the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. So the next blade that we're going to be talking about is the silver tip blade. And this is the one that Woodmiser categorizes under the most affordable and for good reason, it's the most cheap blade that they offer. It's just under $11 a blade and it's probably cheaper because it's the same metal all the way through and this does make it easier to resharpen so these blades are sold as being better for resharpening blades if you guys don't know we do resharpen our blades i think that any blade that they sell can be resharpened but these with a little bit softer of a metal are definitely easier now the double hard blade is, I believe, the one that we have been running on our sawmill uh, the past few months. And this one is just the all-purpose one. It works good for pretty much everything and they sell it as being a more durable blade. Uh, I don't really know about durability wise. I break plenty of them myself, so I can't really tell you compared to others if I feel like it's more durable. Um, but as I'm experimenting with using it, different blades, that opinion might change, so stay tuned. The third blade we're going to be talking about is the razor tip blade. And this one I was kind of excited to talk about because it's the most expensive blade that they offer at Woodmiser. And it's $48 a blade, I believe. And so that's, I mean, over double what the average for a blade is. So this one is really for specialty cutting, really just rough conditions. If you're cutting any exotic woods, this is like for tulip wood or ebony, something that's really hard, really high up on the Jenka scale. I've already talked about what the Jenka scale is in other videos. So if you don't know, it's uh, a way of measuring what the density of the wood is by basically shooting a metal ball into it and seeing how much it dents the wood. Anyways, this blade does stay sharper for longer, which it should with that price tag. I've actually never gotten the chance to try out a razor tip blade on this sawmill before, but I'd be really curious to try it out and tell you what I think. The fourth blade we're going to be talking about is the bimetal blade, meaning more than one type of metal, right? 
and I actually have one of those on the sawmill right now. This is my first time actually using a bimetal blade, so I'm going to have to use it a little longer before I give you my full input on really what I think about it. I'm just going to spend a little bit more time using it before I give you my opinion. But these bimetal blades are nice because they are supposed to last longer. I already have teeth messing on this one. Oh well. But uh, like I said, I'm going to have to just try it out and use it a little bit more than I have. Uh, because so far, I've only used it just today. <laughs> so far though, teeth are already missing. Darn it. Oh well. These bimetal blades are pretty expensive. They're about $30 a blade, so definitely more expensive than your normal ones, but not nearly as expensive as the most expensive. Anyways, the main thing about these bimetal blades is that they're two-piece steel with a wire-welded hardened tip tooth. So you are supposed to get significantly more blade life out of them. Like I said, uh, I have not used this one long enough to tell, but I will get back to you on my opinion. And last but not least is the Vortex blade. And this one is, I think just like 14 bucks a blade, not that expensive, but it is very uniquely designed. And I wanted to get, uh, show you a picture of it. I've never actually used this blade before, but um, you could just definitely see how different it looks there. Uh, here you see that the gullet looks very weird how it's angled like that um, but that's all to help it just kind of pull out the sawdust you can see there this blade is known for its ability to just clean out the sawdust as it's cutting because of the unique way it's shaped it's able to just have the sawdust kind of like tumble in the gullet before being thrown out so um, there, there is much need for that in certain circumstances, so that blade might just be the one for you if you find that your sawdust has a hard time clearing off of the board as you're cutting. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that that helped a little bit in determining which blade is right for you. Anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time.